Hello ladies and gentlemen, yesterday Leicester City made a massive coup in the transfer market securing the services of Switzerland captain Gokan Inla. What does that mean for the club and what does it mean for us moving forward? I'm going to talk about it in this video. So yeah, as I just said, Leicester made a really massive transfer yesterday. Gokan Inla, Switzerland captain, really established midfielder in Europe, touted by a lot of big teams, decided to join the Blue Army. And what a choice he's made, obviously, the best team. But no, in all seriousness, it's a massive, massive... Massive coup for Ranieri and for Ranieri for the fans. I mean, a lot of the fans now saying that what Ranieri's done this transfer window, Pearson never kind of did or or managed in the past. O'Neill never really had a transfer window like this, bringing in players of such high calibre. I mean, my main comparison I'm going to talk about in this video is, is Cambiasso. I mean, obviously last summer it was massive, massive news, Leicester getting Cambiasso. But I think the Inland one's more important because Inland's only 31 and, and Esteban was 34 when he joined. And he, Esteban was at the back end of his career. But Inla really now is, is, is in a good stage of his career still. Yes, he might be a bit past his peak, but not by any stretch past his peak, past his peak. I mean, he's he's almost Ronaldo, so... And I don't think anyone would say Ronaldo's past his peak. So, yeah, Inla is a player who is a massive, massive signing for us. What does he bring, man? What does he bring to this team that we've got? He's that kind of defensive midfielder who'll sit in front of a defence, but also he can score goals. I mean, I know a lot of people have talked about his, his long-range shooting and his long-range passing, and... That is important. His distribution is very, very good out to the to the wingers, and I'm sure Mares and Vardy and Okazaki in those channels will will love the service he gives. But like I said, he can sit deep and he can win the ball a bit like N'Golo Kante. I mean, speaking of, of Kante, I met him actually in town. I'll put a picture up on the screen for you now. I met him in in Leicester and I had a kind of 10-15 minute chat with him. His English wasn't so good yet, but I spoke kind of to him. I managed to piece together kind of a conversation with him. Obviously, I couldn't record it because he wasn't didn't really want to be recorded, but. Managed to have a chat with him, asked him about what he thought about Inla signing, and he said he was very pleased uh, to, to be at Leicester, and just seeing Inla join shows he's made the right choice in joining Leicester. He said that he's a player who, alongside him in the middle of the park, he hopes can solidify a, a team and drive us into the top half of the table. I mean, he was a lovely, lovely person, can't say. If you ever get a chance to meet him, man, it'll be a joy, because he's a lovely person. I met Belanoani as well on the same day, they were both together, the new signings, both of them. Really, really lovely people. Balanoani as well said so he's very excited by, by Inla's signing. It's a massive, massive transfer coup for the club. But yeah, those two seem very, very happy with it. And I'm sure a lot of the fans seem happy with it. Not just from our club, but a lot of the fans from River Club seem jealous that we've got Inla. And that's always a good sign for me. I mean, I've seen Inla play quite a lot for Napoli. A, a real large amount in the Champions League, Europa League and in Serie A. And he is a massively, massively talented player. Not just for for Napoli, but for Switzerland as well. And that Napoli team, when they were at their, their peak with Hamzik, Lavezzi and, and, and Cavani and Higuain now coming in, and he's played with some real, real top-class players, but when they were at that peak, he was in that squad and he dominated the squad. He was a, a real driving force. He never gets other headlines like Hamzik did, for example, or Lavezzi or Cavani when they were there, but Imler is that massive, solid player in the middle who keeps the team ticking over. The shabby Alonso, in, in essence, doesn't get all the, the plaudits Ronaldo and Cruz and everyone around him does, but the team, if you ask them, they'll say he's the most important player. And I think Inler is that. I imagine now one of the two, Drink War King, will definitely be sacrificed. I wouldn't be surprised maybe if both of them do eventually for, for Kante and Inler. But, yeah, at the moment, it's just a real, real coup for, for the club to get Inler in. He's, he's a captain of the country, another captain of the country. It's just massive experience, and he really has filled the void that can be so left now. And Our squad looks much stronger than it finished the back end of last season with. Inla then, his weaknesses, some of his weaknesses, he's not he's not the paciest, but he's still a bit faster than Cambiasso was, and Cambiasso's pace never seemed to bother him, it was more about how he dictated the pace and he could slow the day, game down, and uh, La Gazzetta de Sporta in Italy have said that's, that's one of his strengths, is, is the way he can slow the pace of the game down and bring it to his pace, almost like Berbatov can as a striker, he can, he can make the game the pace he wants it to by receiving the ball and spreading it. I remember a few years ago him playing against Chelsea, in, in Naples and he looked really really good the famous game at Vias Boas got second he was brilliant that night and he's brilliant a lot of times you, you watch Napoli play he just like I said he keeps the ball ticking over and for, like I said a lot of fans are jealous of us getting in there and hopefully hopefully they are jealous for the right reasons hopefully he is the player but we all hope he'll be I mean his long shots people saying that his long goals could be massive for us here expect some crackers yes he does score long shots but don't expect him to to bang loads in I mean Cambiasso wasn't known for goal scoring he got five was it last season so you know Inla coming in it, it's not like he's 
gonna just scuff screamers every week. Anything can happen. He could get end up bagging ten. He could end up bagging one and being really influential in other ways. But I'm really, really excited about the signing. It just shows a bit of intent from the club that we really do want to move on to that next stage. To so sign a player from really could have been playing Champions League, Europa League football, and he picked us instead. Must show that we really are moving in the right direction. I mean, a few years ago, if you'd have told me when we're in the Championship, we'd be signing Gokhan Inler in a few years. I'd have never believed you. But it's happened, it's happened. And I do have to say, I know a lot of you in the video I put on actually about uh, when we beat Sunderland, uh, not when we beat Sunderland, sorry, when we beat West Ham, talking about um, Ranieri and that I was happy of Ranieri. A lot of you said you didn't like that I kind of dissed Pearson. I was never meant to diss Pearson. As a fan, I, I'll always appreciate Nigel and love Nigel for what he did for the club. But I think we all have to realise Ranieri now, what he has done is taken us to the next level, especially with signings, because Inla wouldn't have joined under Pearson necessarily. I know, obviously, you're all going to say, yes, Cambiasso joined under Pearson, and that is true. But I just get the impression I'm not sure Inla would have under Ranieri. And there were pictures circulating on Twitter of, it, of Ranieri taking Inla out in his first night for a meal. And it's just stuff like that that I, I really appreciate from Ranieri, that kind of behind-the-scenes stuff. But more importantly, I think the people we have to thank are the owners. The owners, thank you for coming into our club and making us an exciting team now people talking about us not just in the transfer window but people saying oh we could do Southampton Leicester City look really strong finish top 10 who knows and we have to thank the owners for that thank you thank you top and thank you the owners for, for getting us to this stage hopefully we can keep this I'm not going to thank you too much because hopefully we can keep at this stage but Inla the signing of Inla really does put us in a real good place this season and if he if he really can have a great season and drive us on then there's nothing that, that can stop us really in that midfield now and looking at the team on paper, as I do now, there's not an area really I see massive weakness. Maybe we could do another right back in, but apart from that, there's not really anywhere I feel like we need to improve now. Possibly another centre-half, but you know, I I'm happy with Vasilevsky and Ben Luani as backups to Hoof and Morgan. I think four good centre-backs, and obviously Liam Moore as well, they're the young centre-back. Um, I don't really feel like we need anyone. Possibly a goalkeeper, because Schwartz is not kind of the best for me, but apart from that, I'm happy with everyone. I mean, you look at Cramrich, hasn't even got a look in this season, so... It's all exciting times, it's massively exciting times at a club and it's exciting times for all you fans out there as well as me, a, a fan. I mean, it's just so exciting to have this this opportunity to, I guess, drive on as a club and be the, the next driving force. Anyway, please like the video, please watch my video tomorrow, it's going to be a preview of a Tottenham game on Saturday. I'm going to have someone in from a Tottenham fans forum talking about the game, which will be brilliant. And also subscribe to me for daily uploads every day. 160 subscribers we're on now, let's get to 200, can we? I'll see you in the next one.